Hi friends, it's Cynthia McBride, the pastor at First Christian Church in Portland, Oregon. It's Friday, July 3rd, 2020. I'm sending greetings on this eve of Independence Day and thinking about the ways in which many of us have celebrated this holiday through the years. I'd like to share a quote by John Adams. In speaking about Independence Day, he said, over 200 years ago, I'm apt to believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as the great anniversary festival. It ought to be commemorated as the day of deliverance by solemn acts of devotion to God Almighty. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations from one end of this continent to the other from this time forward forevermore. Such grand words. And surely there are many years when the 4th of July does feel like it is celebrated in just that way that President Adams described with bells and fireworks and pomp and parade and perhaps even with prayer and solemn assembly. In 2020, our celebrations will be different. There will be fewer grand gatherings because of the pandemic, because of protests and a rising awareness of the darker side of America's history. Perhaps this year, the 4th of July, will also include somber reflection. It is interesting and perhaps even humbling to be aware that slave owning was common among the early presidents of our nation. Of the first 12 presidents of the United States of America, only John Adams, second, and his son, John Quincy Adams, our sixth president, never owned slaves. Even the founding father, as he's called of our nation, George Washington, was a slave owner. It was a common practice. Thank goodness owning humans is no longer a common practice in our country. But we still have a ways to go for America to truly be the great land it can be for all of our citizens, for all who call this country home. I know your celebrations tomorrow will be different than they've been in the past, but I hope it is still an occasion for you to think about the blessings that we have to live in this country. I would like to share a few other words for your reflection. This is a blessing that comes to us from the Apache. May the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon softly restore you by night. May the rain wash away your worries. May the breeze blow new strength into your being. May you walk gently through the world and know its beauty all the days of your life. My friends, may you be blessed. If you call America home, may you be blessed in the way that our ancestors who knew this land as home long ago were blessed by sun and moon and stars and wind. May you be blessed as previous generations have been blessed by great freedom and the privilege of work, by a gift of community, by the rights and responsibilities of citizenry, including the responsibility to vote. May you be blessed to know you have neighbors who care about you and are willing to work side by side, shoulder to shoulder, to make this country the best that it can be. Parts of our heritage are great and parts are hard to face. Our future has so much potential if we will live up to it together. May this Independence Day, that looks and feels so different in some ways from past, be a milestone in our lives. 
a time that we commit ourselves to make this country the best that it can be. May you be blessed this 4th of July. Amen.